What makes a tree a tree? What is the essence? If we look at a tree, it always starts with a trunk and then you see some branching off. Branching and then branches from those branches at smaller and smaller scales. If I were to draw a tree or simulate it, I would show a branching, then smaller branching from there, and smaller yet. Of course, anyone drawing a tree is going to add leaves, but if we look closely at the leaves, we see they also have a branching structure in the veins. So the main vein then has branches off of it and smaller veins, and then from there more branching. And looking very closely, you can find tiny, tiny little veins on some leaves. So let's say the essence of a tree is the branching at smaller and smaller scales. This is known as a fractal branching. Kathy, let's get your perspective on this beautiful fall day. I really love fall. The crisp, kind of clean air, the cool breezes, and of course the leaves changing colors and falling. And I love just walking, hearing the crunch of leaves beneath my feet. This is always a fun time too when you're a kid. I, mean, I remember piling up leaves and jumping in them and things. And another fun craft that we used to do would be doing leaf rubbings. And um, so I, with my daughter, I wanted to show her how to do some rubbings. And when you do that, you can really see the fractal-like nature of trees because the veining patterns in the leaves are very similar to the way that tree branches reach up to the sky and the way that they divide and, and get smaller towards the ends. And so I had, uh, together we laid down leaves on a sheet of paper and put a sheet of paper rather over top of the leaves and we uh, lightly rubbed our crayons over them. And we could see how there was the main leaf vein down the center and how it branched off from there. And then from those medium-sized veins branched off further until you got to the very, very fine veins towards the edge of the leaf, which are very similar to the fine branches you see on trees where the leaves are actually attached. And so it's really a wonderful way to sort of explore the idea of uh, the division of the tree into finer and finer branches and how that fractal-like branching occurs not only in the tree itself, but also in the leaves and in the roots too. Because if you would look and pull a tree, a little sapling out of the dirt or any plant really, you would see how the the roots branch off in much the same way that the branches do. And for some trees that have very deep root systems, there's almost a mirror symmetry between the tree above ground and the complicated massive root structures beneath the soil. We can simulate the roots as a mirror image of the tree but there's other things that aren't quite right with this. It's too symmetrical. Let's try to add a little asymmetry to it and a little wiggle. It looks a lot more natural. And then we'll add the blossoms that turn the leaves. And then we can even make them look like fall leaves. I'm really excited by this effect of a little wiggle in the tree to make it look more natural. What about, what about cleaning it up or, or at least uh, improving it morally and maybe taking the uh, wiggle out of it? Well, sir, you take the wiggle out of it, it's finished.